There's one habit that outstanding leaders have learned to master. One habit that sets them aside from mediocre and marginal leaders. One habit that has catapulted them into the stratosphere that has opened up opportunities beyond what the mind can comprehend. And that's knowing how to make good decisions. Welcome to the Clarence Stores Leadership Podcast, a podcast about becoming 1% better every day. And now your host, yours truly, Clarence Stores. Hey everyone, it's Clarence E. Stores Jr., host of the Clarence Stores Leadership Podcast, a podcast about becoming 1% better every day. This podcast focuses on inspiring and equipping highly motivated individuals and creatives to take decisive action and level up in all areas of life while producing their best work. This week's episode, The Overlooked Leader, Overlooked by Others, Handpicked by God, there are amazing leaders, phenomenal leaders, who are crushing it every single day, but don't have the visibility of celebrity leaders. The purpose of this episode is to highlight the overlooked leader and help them build their platform while gaining visibility. What does it mean to be overlooked by others, but yet be handpicked by God? There's one habit that outstanding leaders have learned to master. One habit that sets them aside from mediocre and marginal leaders. One habit that has catapulted them into the stratosphere that has opened up opportunities beyond what the mind can comprehend. And that's knowing how to make good decisions. And here's the good news. Fortunately, everyone can take steps to become a better leader, then in turn become a better decision maker. If you want to become a better leader, a better decision maker, today's podcast is for you. I fondly remember my children would agonize over which college they would attend. We created spreadsheets, the lists of pros and cons. We prayed, burned candles, and even wore sackcloth and ashes. Just (laughs) kidding. Let's face it. Making significant decisions is never easy. It's exhausting. For those struggling making decisions, do you listen to your heart or do you listen to your head? Let's face it. Decisions are emotionally painful. Regarding decisions, now the word decision is of Latin origin. It means to cut away from the past. That means if you're married, cutting away from being single. If you've made humans, people, children, it means cutting away from sleeping cutting away from your money. If you're a business owner, it means cutting away from security. And this is why decisions, especially major decisions, are painful. To make a decision, we have to confront our fears and our doubts head on. When making decisions, we often think in terms of black and white, right or wrong, good or bad. 
But the truth is, most decisions are neither right or wrong. They're simply choices. And the more critical the choice, the more difficult the decision. I'm going to say that once again. The more critical the choice, the more difficult the decision. What happens when the battle within is between what your heart believes and your brain dictates and what your inner wisdom tells you? So this is the question about whether you make decisions with your heart or with your head and how do you know the difference? Before the pandemic, I made the majority of my decisions with my head. I logically weighed the pros and cons, considered others' opinions, and made choices that I thought were wise. Now realize that this habit caused me to miss out on moments of joy and happiness. For an example, before the pandemic, I would never consider taking a spontaneous trip with my friends and my family. I would have thought about all the potential risks and what could go wrong. The finances involved now, today, post-pandemic, I know that those types of trips bring me a lot of happiness And I'm more likely to take them because my heart is telling me the risks are worth it. You're creating memorable moments. Why? Time is a non-renewable resource. Once it's lost, it's lost forever. I'll say it another way. Time is a non-renewable commodity. And the mistake we make is believing that we have an infinite amount of time. When you make decisions with your head, you are usually trying to avoid pain or gain something. You, you want to be safe. And you want to believe it's the best outcome. However, when you make decisions with your heart, You often look for something different, something that might be a little risky, but has the potential to make you happier. So today, I trust my instincts and my emotions while using my intellect, my brain, to balance it out, to work out the details You can use your brain to analyze the fine print. You can use your head to uh, look at contracts. But when it comes to making a decision, look inwardly and check it against your heart and your soul. So how do you do that? How do you make decisions using and checking it against your heart and your soul? Well, according to Mel Robbins, Uh, Here are five questions to ask when making decisions. Number one, is the decision you're about to make help you develop your future or expand your life's possibilities? If the answer is yes, then no matter how terrible the decision may seem to others, the decision is yes. Question two. Will this decision restrict, inhibit, or silence you? If so, the answer is no. No matter how easy the decision is, no matter how safe the decision is, the answer is no. Question three. Will this decision expand or limit my voice? Question four. 
Will this decision open the door to new possibilities or build a wall that prevents progress? The final question. Question number five. Does it raise my voice or does it silence me? Remember, there's always a short term and a long term impact of every decision we make. When making a decision, it's essential to think about that decision's short term and long term impact. The short-term consequences are the things that happen immediately after the decision, whereas the long-term effects are the things that happen down the road, sometimes many years after the decision is made. So it's essential to think about both of these impacts when deciding because they can be very Different Short term might be exciting or seem like a good idea at the time, but the long term implications might be very different. So it's crucial to weigh all the pros and cons of a decision before making the decision so you can be sure you're making the right choice. Did you catch that? Get it? Got it? Good. What a phenomenal episode, and my hope is that you heard something inspiring, something creative, something that helped you push the pause button and reflect. Are you enjoying the Clarence Stores Leadership Podcast? If so, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. As a matter of fact, make sure you let everyone know. And while you're at it, go ahead and leave a review. It helps the podcast grow. Thank you. You've been listening to the Clarence Stores Leadership Podcast. Join us next time for more insights on becoming 1% better each day and leveling up in all areas of life.